Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. I'm on a roll here. Here we go. Another Ken Rockwellism. Hmm. You can only correct up to a half a stop in the raw file. I don't know what the hell he's looking at because, as I'm going to show you examples, you could take it a long way. Uh, plus four, minus four, generally two stops. <coughs> going up two stops is going to work fine. I've brought pictures back. Um, for example, again, throwing your meter off because the background was too bright and your subject's too dark. You're bringing that back. You're able to do it because you have all that data there to do it with. So this half stop, I can only correct for a half stop in the raw file. I don't know what he's thinking. I know that he did this this raw. He's still building the raw thing, but it was 2008. We're in 2010 now. Even back then, the smartest thing to do was to shoot raw because the JPEG conversions were locked in. And pictures that I've corrected from two, that I took in 2003 that I shot raw. I can still tweak those now with the capabilities of Lightroom. I'm bringing pictures back, bringing out things that I never knew were there when I shot it and got it right in the camera then. My files just look better now. So there you go. That's another Ken Rockwellism. Only a half a stop of uh, latitude. That's just wrong. No. You know what? That brings me back to something else. He talks about technically in the computer or in a file making these corrections or he cites some engineering mumbo jumbo that I know nothing about that he's well educated in that but I just know the proof is in the pudding right I've seen what I'm able to do with that file and bring it two stops if I need to just because and that has nothing to do again with getting it right in the camera so there you go I'm actually gonna walk away this time and end it so there it is. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. Back again. Let's see what else is on this list. Ah, yes. Raw files need dedicated software to open up. Maybe in the old days, yes, but you did need dedicated software. Now every PC can open and read a RAW file, and the Mac, you have iPhoto, that can read a RAW file, so everything reads a RAW file. And the software, like Lightroom, $299, if you're going to spend all this money to shoot these pictures and shoot RAW files and get it, you know, as right as you can in the camera, you're going to want to tweak it and get the right software. If you're a student, or know a student, or a teacher, or you're a student of mine technically, because you go to the school of Frono's Photo, $99, I'm pretty sure, is how much Lightroom 3 is. So I think it's well worth it for that. So to say that not uh, RAWs take dedicated, need dedicated software to open it up, yeah, they do. But what's the big deal? That's what you need to do. Did you have a processing machine in your basement because you shot film and you didn't want to shoot film? You decided you wanted to shoot, uh, you wanted to shoot Polaroids only? because they processed right away and you didn't need any didn't need to do anything else with them your film needed to be taken to the processor to the lab to be developed you didn't do that at home same thing here you need dedicated software no big deal it's great software you'll love it my name is Lillian and I shoot 